I'm here with Steve Morris, Steve Morris Race Engines, and uh, you have arguably probably one of the most unique cars that, that runs at the Outlaw events uh, with this. Well, now, what year is this Caprice wagon? That's a 93 Chevy Caprice. Uh, it's legit still stock suspension and stock frame rail. Um, in fact, we were just looking at a couple other cars, you know, that the class has kind of started getting away just a little bit with full tube chassis cars with maybe 10 inches of frame section in them. But, I mean, this is a full full steel car, uh, all steel panels, doors, even have all the back glass in it. Um, do have a lot, but we've gutted everything, yeah. clearly, but it still weighs 3,600 pounds, so. Well, it's a tank. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, yeah. so tell me about the motor. Uh, it's one of ours, of course. Uh, it's a 540 cubic inch, uh, big chief headed, 18 degree big chief headed piece. Uh, we still have uh, just the older series blower on it, but it has our, our uh, Provolute upgrades done to it. So 139 with the uh, CNC internals and the Provolute bell. Um, it makes a 2700. Um, currently, we haven't been able to put it all, all the way down on track, clearly, but uh, we're still working on it. Um, Holly EFI. Uh, diamond pistons, MGP rods, uh, dart block, um, a lot of good stuff. It has all our custom uh, custom stuff that we do at the shop. So it, it's, it's been our house car for a long time, but it's actually the same engine that we've had, the same base engine that we've had in the car for almost four years now. So, and we haven't done anything to improve the car. We've improved the blower. I'm sorry, I haven't done anything to improve the engine. We've improved the blower, but it's been the same engine platform as what we've used for the last four years. So. You know, we're, we're hoping to go a little faster this yeah. weekend. What 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 is your best time, eighth mile, quarter mile? Uh, we went 4.59 last year here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yep. And um, that was with a stock blower. Uh, this year we're about 250 better than that. So we're hoping to be, Lord willing, we'll be up in the 440s is what we want to be with this car. It still weighs 3,600 pounds. So. Well, yeah. I mean, it's still a big car. Yeah. And, it, and that, that's the thing I think is so unique. I've watched you run this car at a lot of different events probably the last well how long have you guys had this car now um i've actually been camp companioning this car for probably about seven years i was going to say because i remember seeing you down at at the old uh, orlando the the world yep. street deal and yep. down there and and of course i've seen you at these races and yep. and did now have you run some nmca stuff as well or no we did we ran one quite a long time ago back at memphis before they before that all sold and traded off so the last one that they ran there at the, the end, end of the series class we ran once there okay. but we're actually um, I'm talking about it all the time I wanted to do it last year but we got so busy with the work that I wasn't able to do it I want to go run the car in top sportsman and uh, go okay. division three top sportsman and then go qualify and then uh, or get my points and then go run the nationals maybe at Indy and or maybe Chicago or something like that in top sportsman I think that'd be pretty neat well, I, I, I tell you, you know, that's one of the things that, that we get an opportunity to cover. We're going to be doing the XDRL this year, and, of course, they've got top sportsman, top dragster. And, you know, a lot of people go, well, it's a bracket car. I said, let me tell you something. If it runs in the sixes, mm -hmm. I don't care if it's a bracket car or not. That's fast. Yeah. Okay. What now? And what did you say it would run in the quarter? We haven't been back out in the quarter since, uh, well, when we were going 750s, 740s with a car, and it would go 480s in the eighth at 154 and right now we're you know 450s and 164 so we haven't been back out on a quarter but we're anticipating that the car should go uh i know it always back half's the same so it, it really should go in the 680s at like 210. that's plenty fast yeah especially for as heavy as it is yeah. what is uh, your website stevemorrisengines.com very good Thank steve you. it's great seeing you again thank you thank you yep.